In this video, I'll show you how to enable shop view for your galleries, emphasizing the buying options when visitors and potential customers view your images in the light box and the most impactful customizations you can make to your gallery style to generate more sales. To enable shop view, access the gallery settings and find the shopping tab. As long as the visitor shopping cart is turned on, you'll see the option to enable or disable shop view. Click save after enabling. And now when a customer clicks the image in the gallery, the light box opens with shop view automatically, displaying the available products on the left panel. Viewers can close the shop view by clicking the close button and view the image by itself in the light box. Shop view can manually be accessed again by clicking the buy photo button. Keep in mind, the shop view experience is always available if, in the gallery settings, the visitor shopping cart is turned on. Enabling the feature simply makes the shop view the default option when someone clicks an image in a gallery to view it larger in the light box. Next, let me show you how to customize your gallery styles. To do so, we need to access the SmugMug Customizer. It's important that we access the customizer through a gallery. The customization settings we're going to change are only accessible through a gallery. If you've not already, navigate to any gallery on your photo site and click Customize Design. When the customizer loads, the All Galleries layer will be selected and highlighted in blue. This tells us that the changes we make will affect all galleries. If you're wanting to customize a single gallery to contain personalized and unique content, you can click Make This Gallery Custom below the All Galleries layer. Then, just this gallery will be highlighted in teal and changes you make will affect that gallery only. Our objective is to customize all the galleries where our images are being sold. So, we'll keep the All Galleries layer selected and highlighted in blue. The reason we accessed the customization tools through the gallery was so that we could view and change the gallery style settings. Clicking the gallery content in the center of the screen will open those gallery style settings. We're now viewing the settings panel for the six gallery styles. The settings we're changing will be available on the thumbnails, collage landscape, and collage portrait styles. These gallery styles have the ability to customize the display of the buy button, including the color, style, and size. The other three styles, Smug Mug, Journal, and Slideshow, have their own settings that can be changed, but they don't have to do with selling or the buy button. So be sure to explore the settings for all the styles to see what works best for you. Let's select my personal favorite, Collage Landscape. With this gallery style, the long side of the image is emphasized and landscape-oriented images are shown larger than portrait-oriented images. Additionally, each image is shown in its native aspect ratio. The other collage style, Portrait, emphasizes the tall side of the image and portrait-oriented images are shown larger than landscape-oriented images. With the collage landscape style settings open, we can see the display options at the top. The first few options are personal preferences. Choose to show a breadcrumb in the upper left of the gallery, change the spacing between the photos, and change the image display size. The info style setting will determine how the image information is displayed. This includes the photo title, the caption, and the buy photo and download buttons. Next, choose your alignment preference. We'll choose to center our photo information. The Buy Button Display option is already set to Always and exactly what I want. Next is the Buy Button Color. I choose the Accent option because it's customizable and can be any color. Set the option now and update your accent color later. To customize your accent color, click the Theme tab and then hover over your active theme. When you see the wrench icon, click to open the settings. The theme colors will be at the top of the basic tab settings. Let's jump back to setting up the collage landscape gallery style. By changing the buy button color to accent, we see the little shopping cart icon change from white to orange. The next option is to change the buy button style. It's currently set to icon, showing a small shopping cart icon. The icon button option will add a background behind the shopping cart icon, and since we're using the accent color, that's the color used for the background. The option I'm going to choose is button. This option changes the icon to the word buy, making it clear and obvious prints and downloads are available for purchase. The last option is buy button size. So far, we've been viewing the small icons and buttons. We'll bump the size of our buy button up to large. And that's it. The last option in this panel lets you reset back to the default settings if you need to. 
When you're done, click Done. If you wish to customize any other gallery style, click the gallery content again and open the settings panel. When you're finished, publish the changes by clicking Done in the upper right, followed by Publish Now.